Aren't these awesome? Blew my hat off. These are commercially available perimeter alarm. One of them is a sh primer, and then this one I think uses blanks. Yes. Um, now, the thing with these is that, first of all, this one was like 30 bucks on Amazon, which is a total ripoff for these things. They're all made by the same Chinese manufacturer. Is Because they're Chinese made, they rust out in the... I had this one out for like two days, three days, and it's just rusted. And, you know, once it rusts, it seizes. Also, they're not that loud. The 22 blank, even with a high powered charge is not not that loud um, nothing in comparison to these guys anyway furthermore these are cheaper and they are much more discreet it's much easier to hide them they blend in a lot better so I'm gonna show you how to make it and they cost about a dollar 25 a piece in terms of like all the materials used um, they are a little labor intensive, but once, honestly, once you have these chemicals, there's a whole bunch of, follow, yeah, follow my channel or subscribe for a whole bunch of fun things to do with these chemicals. Um, so what this is here is a 5 16th inch internal diameter mason bee tube there, uh, for those weird new, it's like honeybee houses or insect houses they are disgusting. Um, but yeah, it's like trending now. I guess people are making B tubes. It's really annoying, honestly. Um, but I know bees are cute. Everybody likes bees. I got a lot of sh for that last video I made about mosquito genocide. It's like when you click on a thumbnail that says genocide, why are you looking for social justice? You know, like, yes, I'm killing all the insects. I'm sorry. I hate mosquitoes that much, but I get it. I know. I'm not like, anyway. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just coating this tube in CA glue because it's easy. It's an easy way to waterproof it. Um, on this one, I used West System Epoxy. Um, but I think that this is the first time I've used CA glue on like this as a sealer. Um, so no promises there, but it will also harden the tube, which will uh, create more confinement on the on the blast, and therefore much louder, no, uh, much more noise. Um, this is toast, and I'm gonna spray some activator on this. That's way too much, but yeah, you see how. When you use too much activator, it 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 disproportionately cures the outside, which you know. So the outside shell of the CA glue hardens immediately, and then it as it cures, it pushes little bubbles out as the inside as it cures downward. Yeah, so you get these little prickly things, basically these little bubbles when you do it too fast like that, or you do too much activator. But anyway, we're going to just use this for sake of demonstration. That's pretty much cured, I believe. And we're going to cut this tube. It's a little bit weirder to cut. It does not cut well with the CA glue. Okay, so this is based off of these ignition cups that I love so much. So the cool thing about these cup and these pull string igniters is that they're basically the foundation for a whole new world of grenadifying things. As you can see by my awesome hat. See, it's a grenade and then a light bulb on the inside. <laughs> anyway, but um, I just came up with that today. But the ignition cup the comp in case if you don't want to buy the kit and you're just interested in the raw chemistry there's two compounds here there's two mixtures this one is ignition composition and here is the formula for that this red stuff is the striker composition and here's the formula for that 
Now, basically, these work off of the relationship or the chemical reaction between red phosphorus and potassium chlorate. When the string is pulled, it creates both friction, but it also mixes the the red phosphorus in the striker composition with the potassium chlorate, with the oxidizer. That converts the red phosphorus to white phosphorus, which is spontaneously ignites and then subsequently ignites this this ignition composition here, which is actually just H48 primer. It's a formula for H48, which is used in... Pew, pew! So anyway, I'm not going to go too far into these silly cups, but if you want to buy the kits for these cups, they are at inventionincarnate.com. It's 40 bucks for, 50, for enough materials for 50 of these igniters, plus extra ignition composition for making things such as... Turn on CO fan. Okay. So there's actually a reason that I did that, and it was because I need this little guy, because I lost all of my crimp rings. So anyway, that's the ignition composition in the uh, Stryker compound. Moving on, what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these cups into this 5 16th inch tube here. Thread this through. Push it in with a Q-tip so you don't damage the ignition cup. Bring this out to the little dome there. Center the string in the hole. And then we're going to hit it with some CA glue. Being sure not to get any of that glue on the string. Uh, because what happens is, is then it creates too much resistance. It creates too much resistance, you know, just to pull the string. Um, I'm going to do two layers of that just to help with waterproofing a little bit. So we're taking multiple redundant steps for waterproofing these. I take, this is 12% nitrocellulose lacquer. And I drop this right at the intersection between the satin cord here and the ignition cup, the paper cup. And then I just kind of let it. So what I do, what this is, this is to prevent capillary wicking from the string when it's, you'll see, I, I I'm going to shrink wrap it with. So once this is penetrated with, I should say, once it's impregnated with nitrocellulose lacquer, the nitrocellulose, well, the acetone will dry out of the lacquer, and then you're left with a, nit a waterproof um, kind of a glue. But it's also a little bit flexible. It's a little weaker, too, so it doesn't affect the, the um, amount of force needed to pull that. So now I'm using heat shrink tubing around the end of this line and I'm gonna oh, here we go As it cools, you pull it tight so it, it when it cools, it doesn't kink. It just makes it easier to set up when you're setting up the perimeter alarm. Okay, now I'm going to crimp it like right here, like that.
I'm going to fuse this shut and also hit this with some glue. Oh. So I'd recommend if you're making these, just do a bunch at a time. You know, do like five or ten at a time, depending on your level of patience. Um, if you, assuming you have these ignition cups pre-made, uh, otherwise they'll just be a, yeah. I mean, to do it all at once is is a big nightmare. But I don't have the attention span to do that. But this, okay, this is good so far. Now we, I hit it. I hit the outside of this. Now you can hit it with more CA glue because there's heat shrink around the satin cord. And the tubing can be easily ripped when it's pulled. But this is a great way to waterproof that. Awesome. All right, so now we fill it with our powder, which is 34.2% sprinkles which I already masked out mm -hmm. and 65.8% glitter okay glitter sprinkles both are edible so the this is the oxidizer and the sprinkles <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, I can't. I'm not condoning. Just make sure whatever you're doing is legal in the legal, legal, um, federally legal uh, mass limits as well. Um, but anyway, I can't pull that one off seriously. Pink sprinkles. But what we do now is just cap that with some more gelled CA glue. I'll say get the end grain of the cardboard tube. You know what I mean? Like, the uh, we don't want any capillary draw here, sucking up water. I do two coats of this stuff. Let that cure a little bit. And then cap it again. There we go. So this is the basic, you know, core of this. Now, the, what I do now is I, I use Plasti Dip. Uh oh. Um, I just spray it onto the body. I spray it the whole thing in the Plasti Dip, which I'll just might as well do right now. It's this stuff. So I'll just spray this whole thing. It's like, it doesn't really matter if you overload it, obviously. It's like, doesn't need to be pretty. Anyway, let this dry. I hang it from a clothespin or something. Let this dry, and then you can either leave it black, or you can spray paint it with camo, or some kind of flat, you know, sorry, some kind of flat, subdued color. And uh, I'll do give you a nighttime demonstration because you just saw the daytime one. Whoops, there it goes. It's okay, that's full of sprinkles. Ew, creepy ass bullfrogs. All right, here we go. 